Oh, just a quick follow-up regarding that um, answering machine. I opened up the mechanism, which you see here, and it's quite interesting. It looks like you have the um, messaging, the outgoing message cassette, uh, you know, either here or on the other side. But if you look here at the, the read and write heads, right, the erase and the, sorry, the read write, and these are just the erasers, um, they are on the sliding mechanism. So it actually only actuates one deck at a time, right? When it plays the greeting, it will go like this. And then as soon as it's ready to record a mess, uh, the greeting stops, it switches it down to there. It can't do both, which makes sense. It wouldn't anyway, but it's interesting how they constructed this thing. So it's all on one sliding mechanism. It either uses one deck or the other at a time. And it's just completely built into the mechanism. So here's our, let's say our greeting. We'll put that in here. Um, there, okay. And then here's our incoming, basically uh, recording the messages here. Okay, so when it comes time, it'll play. So let's go, okay, play, 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 play. Okay, hello, hello. Um, thank you for calling, blah, blah, blah. Please leave a message. And then it switches like that. It actuates the other head and it continues. And it looks like it may be using the same, really the same motor, uh, run both. And it's just toggling between the two. I wouldn't be surprised if these, these may all be on a common as well. Uh, well, maybe not. It's hard to say, but yeah. Anyway, I thought I'd show you this because uh, it's an interesting mechanism which really only works in this type of situation where you have two cassettes, one huge belt running the whole thing, which is surprisingly still, well, beside, before I took it off, surprisingly still in good shape. Um, but yeah, just thought you'd enjoy seeing the uh, interesting, unique workings of this answering machine. Thanks for watching.